sunny day. I've slapped on some sunscreen and I've popped up my umbrella. Now I can relax and enjoy the sun. <laughs> oh, what's that tickling me? A mosquito? Hmm, I can't see anything. <laughs> Kelly! <laughs> Look what I've got for you, chats. A Sulu. A Sulu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a Sulu. It's kind of a skirt. It comes from a place called Fiji. It's very hot and sunny there, so people wear cool clothes. A pretty Sulu for me, a pretty Sulu from Fiji. That is cool. Do you like it? I love it. My very own Sulu from Fiji. Here, I'll help you put it on. There you go. Bulla Bulla Chatterbox. Bulla Bulla? Bulla Bulla is how people in Fiji say hello. Bulla Bulla, Kelly. <laughs> Bulla Bulla. That's how we say hello. Stretch your hands out and wave them all about. Bula bula. That's how we say hello. I never knew you could say hello by dancing. <laughs> hmm, and this can mean hello too. Wow, the way you move your hands and body can mean different things. Yeah, a hand that says hello. Hello to you too, hand. Bula bula. That's how. Say hello, stretch your hands out and wave them on about. Bula bula, that's how we say hello. Here, chats, a pretty flower from Fiji. Wow, I'm wearing my Sulu and I've got a flower from Fiji in my hat. And I can say bula bula. Let's imagine we're in Fiji. <laughs> it's hot and sunny there, but we've got the sunscreen and we've got the umbrella, so that's okay. The sun won't burn us. Ready now? Yep, ready. Bula bula, Kelly. Dance with me in Fiji? Mm-hmm. Hey, 
Nodding your head is a way to say yes without words. Let's go! Bula Bula, that's how we say hello. Stretch your hands out and wave them all about. Bula Bula, that's how we say hello. Sun and moon. Sun and moon. The sun comes out. It's time to play. Oh, it goes down at the end of the day. The moon shines in the sky at night. Then I go to sleep and dream in its light. The sun comes out. It's time to play. It goes down at the end of the day. The moon shines in the sky at night. Then I go to sleep and dream in its light. The sun comes out. It's time to play. It goes down at the end of the day. The moon shines in the sky at night. Then I go to sleep and dream in its light. song. Hello, hello, you can do it too. You say hello to me, I say hello to you. Hello, Kelly. Konnichiwa, Tim. Konnichiwa. That's hello in a different language. That's how Japanese people say hello. Konnichiwa, come and sing along. Just say konnichiwa and join my greeting song. Konnichiwa, you can do it too. Konnichiwa to me. Konnichiwa to you. Nintu palya, Tim. That's how the Pintinjara people who live in the middle of Australia say hello. Nintu palya, come and sing along. Just say Nintu palya, join my greeting song. Nintu palya, you can do it too. Nyuntu palya to me, nyuntu palya to you. Wow, there's so many different ways of saying hello. Hello! Kinichiwa! You can do it too. Just say hello! Kinichiwa! And join my greeting song. Hello! Nyuntu palya! You can do it too. Nyuntu palya to me, nyuntu palya to you. <laughs> hello, hello! It's so easy to do. You say hello to me, I say hello to you. Sayonara, that's Japanese for goodbye. Engola nyako jako. That's goodbye in Pitinjara. Goodbye! <laughs> Say hello to friends. You can use your body and words together. Hello. Hello, everyone. 
What if they're far away? How do we say hello then? Hello! Can you hear me? Hello! Cooey! Cooey! That's how they say hello in the outback. But what if someone can't hear you? Some people use sign language. Hi! In some countries, they bow to say hello. Then they bow again. Lots of different ways to say hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. You can bow to say hello. But my favourite would have to be that outback call. Cooey. 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 <laughs> Buildings come in all different shapes and sizes. Different buildings in different places. A square shape could be the beginning of a castle. And if I add this rectangle, it could make a tower. Look, lots of squares everywhere. They could be the turrets on top of the castle. <laughs> okay, now let's make this circle a face. The king of the castle. Now. What does a king need? A king needs a crown. The king and his crown. Look, the crown has turrets too, just like on top of the castle. What shape can you find? What shape can you find here? A row of squares for a crown. That's what I see here. Now, what about another building? Well, where else do people live? I know, somewhere where there's lots of snow. Have you ever seen a house made out of snow and ice? An igloo? <laughs> funny word, that one, igloo. <laughs> well, igloos are a funny shape. They're a circle that's cut in half, a semicircle. But what makes them really different is that they're made out of ice blocks. Not the type you eat, but giant blocks of ice, bigger than bricks. <laughs> the people that live inside the igloo crawl through the tunnel. And when they're inside, the igloo's nice and cozy and warm. But outside, it's freezing cold, so they have to wear warm clothes. <laughs> Here's someone that lives in this freezing place. A warm hood for her head. Look, it's a bit like the same shape as the igloo, isn't it? What shape can you find? What shape can you find here? 
semicircle for a hood. That's what I see here. Now, that's it. Warm clothes and a nice warm house to live in. An igloo. So what's next? How about a different place this time? How about the farmhouse I stay at in the country? It has a rectangular house, a triangle for the roof, a rectangular door, and two square windows with a great big veranda around the outside. It keeps the house nice and cool. Some more veranda. Rectangle shapes, but different ones this time. This can be me. <laughs> I always wear a big hat out in the country to protect my face from the sun. And this hat has a great big brim on it. What shape can you find? What shape can you find here? A rectangle on a great big hat. That's what I see here. Look, all the hats look like the buildings. The castle and the crown with turrets. The igloo with the curvy round hat and a great big hat with the veranda that goes all around the outside. <laughs> Thank you, Bee. have lots of different doors. Turn the handle and push the door. Where I live, there are four. There's an igloo made of ice, it's cold. Crawl through the tunnel, so I'm told. Turn the handle, push the door. Where I live, there are four. Igloos are made of ice, it's cold. Crawl through the tunnel, so I'm told. Turn the door where I live there are four there's an igloo made of ice it's cold crawl through the tunnel so I'm told Kathleen from High Five. Kamusta. That's how we say hello in Tagalog, the language spoken in the Philippines. That's where my family comes from. I like to practice counting in other languages too. English, of course. One, two, three, four, five. Tagalog. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. My other favourite language is Japanese. Oh, but I can't remember all the numbers. Hang on, let me think for a second. <laughs> What's making me so itchy? Maybe it's a mosquito. Hey, itchy. That's it. The Japanese word for one is itchy. Ah, but what's two? Jump, jump. Knee pads? Hmm. The word for two in Japanese isn't knee pads but it sounds something like it. Ah, knee. That's it. The word for two in Japanese is knee. Ichi, one, knee, two. Ah, but now for three. What's three in Japanese? I remember it sounds like something in the sky. Moon? No. Star? No, that's not quite right either. Sun? Ichi ni sun? Yeah, sun is number three in Japanese. So, 
Itchy, one, knee, two, sun, three. But what's four? She, she is number four in Japanese. So itchy, one, knee, two, sun, three, she, four. Okay, but what's five? Oh, go, go is number five in Japanese. <laughs> Let's sing it and that'll help me remember. In the air, let's do it together. Go to the side, who cares about the weather? Go to the floor, the party's on at your place. Go to the front, there's a smile on my face. One, two, three, four, and five. Ichi ni san, she go. Ichi ni san, she go. Go. Go in the air, let's do it together. Hi, go! Yep. Go is number five in Japanese. Again? Ichi ni san, she go. Ichi ni san, she go. Ichi ni san, she go. Go, go in the air. Let's do it together. Hi, go. See ya. count by nodding my head. Upon a time, there was a little polar bear that lived far, far away in a land of snow and ice. Dum dee dum dee dum, yummy fishes in my tum. Dum dee dum dee dum, yummy fishes in my tum. Oh, what was that noise? Hmm, dum dee dum dee dum. I think I might go swimming. Whee! Yahoo! One day, a big ship came to the polar bear's home. And being a very curious sort of bear, she swam out to the ship and climbed aboard. Ah, <sighs> phew! Wow, what a gigantic ship! But the little polar bear wasn't alone on this ship. There was another animal on board too. Meow! Oh, who are you? Don't be frightened, I'm the ship's cat. Meow, what are you doing here? There was no time for the polar bear to answer the cat. The ship was leaving. <gasps> My home is looking further and further away. That's because the ship's moving. We're off to the big city, my friend. Living in the city. Twinkling lights so pretty. People always busy. When you're living in the city, yeah. City? Lights? People? What strange words. What do they mean? The polar bear was a bit worried now. She'd never been away from home before, and her new friend, the cat, was using some very strange and unusual words. Meow! Don't worry about a thing. I'm the coolest cat in the whole city. I'll teach you everything you need to know. It was a long way to the city, but the polar bear was very interested in everything the cat had to say about his home in the city. Before she knew it, they were there. Whoa. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see? My city. Twinkling lights everywhere. Wow, they're just like stars, only twinkling right up close. Come on, I'll introduce you to my friends. 
the city looked and sounded very different to the polar bear's quiet, snowy white home. In the city, there were loud noises. Strange sounding words. Hot dogs, get your nice hot hot dogs over here. And very unusual smells. Fish, I can smell fish. Oh, it smells a bit like home. Yep, plenty of fish in my neighborhood. That's what cats like to eat. Hey, me too. Maybe the city's not so different to my home after all. Mmm, <gasps> yum. Hey, it doesn't taste like the fish I catch at home, but it sure is delicious. Soon the cat's friends came to join them, and they invited the polar bear to join their band. Living in the city, bop, do, bop, do, bop. twinkling lights so pretty. Bop, do, bop, do, bop. People always busy bop, do, bop, do, bop. when you're living in the city. Meow. You want to join in? Sure. Living in the city. Bop, do, bop, do, bop. Twinkling lights so pretty. Bop, do, bop, do, bop. People always busy. Bop, do, bop, do, bop. When you're living in the city. <gasps> yeah. The little polar bear soon learned their city language. But at last, it was time to go home. Well, I'd better get going. Thank you for having me. Mm, will you come and visit me sometime? Sure. sure. So the little polar bear had a great time with her new friends in the big city. But she still knew there was no place like home. And that's the end of the story. Time for a song. I like peas. You like beans. I like skirts. You like jeans. I like running. You like walking. I like listening. You like talking. No matter who we are. No matter who we are. Oh, what we're gonna be. Sunshine, you like puddles. I like kisses, you like cuddles. 